What's up players, this is Juicy from Epic Reset Gaming here to give you a UI simplification and efficiency setup video for all the changes that they made with the patch 2.1 update. So first of all, to set this up, you're basically going to want to go into your system menu and your character configuration. I'm going to show you all these settings and I'm going to show you what they do. So first of all, you're going to want to go into UI settings and you're going to want to go down and disable flying text. It's going to get annoying after a while, and this is a good thing to disable, and I'll show you and tell you why in a little bit. Now, another thing you're going to want to enable is actually display only detrimental effects that you inflict. This I'll show you later, but this is going to help declutter your screen, especially during a battle. Now, under display name settings, these are going to be all the names that you see pop up on the characters in the world itself. You never really need to see companions or pets and things like that because usually their information dis is displayed on your UI somewhere in the party window, and it it's pretty much just redundant to have it on there twice because you're gonna see it in your UI and then you're gonna see it in the world above the character and that's kind of just like I said redundant uh, now HP bar setting is just a little bar that you see above the character that show that basically shows their life and since you can't really read the actual percentage of life they have or anything you're pretty much just guesstimating anyway so it's not really that great of a tool in my opinion now, as for other displayed names, basically I have my party members always show and the other playable characters never show. This is because I want it to be where I can pick out my party members at a quick glance. If I see a name floating, I know that person's in my party. Now, this doesn't mean that you're never going to see other playable characters' names. Once you target them, you'll see their information in your info box on your UI. So this is kind of just redundant information in my opinion. It's the same with their pets. Uh, of your party members and the pets of other playable characters. Now, Alliance Members is pretty new, and I don't really know exactly what the UI box looks like, so I just have it so that their names show up during battle, because I don't want my names to be too confusing when I'm outside of battle, because I want to be able to see party members only. But I don't really know what it's going to be like in battle with 24-man raids, so I basically have it so that the names show during battle, and their HP bars pretty much show when they're below 100%. Now, NPCs, all the stuff that you can't control, it's fairly simple. Um, unengaged enemies and unclaimed enemies are basically always showing their name above because you might have to pick an enemy for a quest and things like that. And because they're unclaimed or they're unengaged, it's pretty much free game. As for engaged and claimed enemies, it's basically going to be things that are already in battle and you're, that, that information is already going to be displayed in your target box so you don't really need to see that. Now, NPCs and objects, I always have that show because you might need to see where an object is or you might need to keep an object or a person alive. So I have their HP boxes show up if it's below 100% and that's because usually that information doesn't show up in your party window. Minions, <laughs> in my opinion, I don't think I ever use minions so I never have that display anyway. Now there is one thing that you could do on your PS3 to help declutter your UI itself and that's in within your log window settings uh, you could turn the the text down as low as it goes which is 12 actually um, now if you want to see more actual text in there you could also do maybe just their surname or their forename or just their initials but then it kinda becomes hard to actually reply back to people so I leave it usually at full name and at the lowest possible text size so that's pretty much it on actually setting it up. Now, to actually lay it out so that you could see everything, let me show you where everything is at. So pretty much in your HUD layout, okay? This is how I have mine set up, and I'll show you this. This is all, this is all for efficiency. We've already simplified everything in the world, what you're going to be seeing on your screen. So now we're going to set everything up for efficiency. Basically, you're going to want to go down and size everything to the smallest size. I mean, in my opinion, that's the best thing to do for the PS3 because you're locked at the 720p setting. So your screen real estate really isn't much in the first place. And for the most part, at the smallest setting, you could still read everything fairly clearly uh, from across the room. At least I can. Maybe I have really good vision, even though I wear glasses. <laughs> but I can read it, and I'm pretty sure you guys can too. It just clears up your screen and makes everything a little bit more clean and efficient. So this is pretty much what I have set up. Uh, this is by no means at all close to uh, how it's set up stock and out of the box. Basically, your target bar used to be up here. Uh, I think uh, by default, your focus target bar is up here. Your enemy list, I believe, is like way over here and things like that. So I pretty much moved everything, once again, for an efficiency standpoint. 
and here's why. So let's take a look at all the stuff that we have moved over here. Item help and action help is just information that shows you if you need help. Uh, that's just kind of a given, so I've moved that over to the chat box because um, you don't really glance at that too much. Now, notice is I did move over to the left, and that's mainly because I moved my party list down here to the right. So I just don't want anything overlapping as much. So because I have a lot of party information here, including alliance information, I moved my duty list over to the top left. This keeps everything simple, uncluttered on the right hand side of the screen, and it also lets you see like fate information at a quick glance in the top left corner. Now, my mini map is pretty much small, and it's in the upper right hand corner, and once you get used to the game, you reference it very little, and uh, it's pretty much kind of like in the way if you have it really big. So, as you can see, my limit gauge is all the way down at the bottom, because you only really need a quick glance to know whether you need to use it or not. My crossbar is set to the smallest size. Um, let me just go ahead and show you the other sizes that they're offering. This is the smallest. Then you got up, 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 and up. I mean, they get pretty big, so if you have a vision problem, this is probably a good setting for you. But once again, it takes up a lot of screen real estate, so it kind of makes things a little iffy. So it's up to you on what you want to set it up like. This is all, from my standpoint, for efficiency. Now, as you can see, within my crossbar, I have some overlay right here, I have some overlap. Um, I got my status effects bar, and if I could even get to it, I can't do it by clicking, I'd have to select it here in the menu, uh, which is my parameter bar. Um, you can see here my parameter bar under my crossbar settings. Um, you can see my HP, MP, TP. My status bar is right above that, um, because I want my icons very close to my actual health and magic information. My progress bar is right above that, because I want to be no or I want to know if I'm casting something. And uh, that is usually not as important as what the target is casting on me. So that's usually just above that. Now, within the target bar, you're going to see the enemy's information or your target's information, their target information to the right. And the new thing in 2.1 is PS3 players now get focus target, which means you could focus on a particular enemy. Let's say you're doing the Ifrit battle. And once you're fighting Ifrit, you could focus on Ifrit. Always see Ifrit's information right here, whether he's doing an attack. But you could target something else. For example, the DPS players would attack the nail. So you could see the target's information of the nail while still being able to monitor Ifrit to see that he's casting a spell or attack that might hurt you. Now, just to the right of that, because the target's target information is basically shown to the right of this box, I have the enemy list right here. This shows all the enemies attacking you or that you're attacking, and it also shows your aggro icon. Now, to the right of the enemy list, I do have the party list. Main reason that I moved it from the upper left to the lower right is because, in actuality, the party list shows aggro meters within each icon of every player's class. It's at the very bottom of the icon and it will show for the target that you are currently targeting. It won't show it for every target, but the target that you're currently targeting. This will help you in a lot of party situations where you might need to back off your attacks if you're pulling too much aggro and you're not in the tank, or if you're the tank and you're seeing other people pull too much aggro so that you can do moves like flash or anything else to help pull aggro back to yourself. Now, I did move the alliance list 1 and 2 just off to the side here because I don't think too much information shows up on them, and, you know, without any personal experience, I feel this is a good place for a quick glance. Now, one thing about the 2.1 changes are, if you, do, if you do use the focus target setting, uh, basically your server info and your experience bar disappear. Uh, just limitations on, I guess, on what can be displayed on the PS3 itself at one time. But the experience bar is good to have when you want to know when you're chaining enemies, when you want to get a bonus from killing a chain of enemies. Um, but, like I said, once you focus... Uh, you basically lose that option. So it's not, in my opinion, if you're focusing on a target, you're not really in a situation where you're going to be chaining a lot of enemies anyway. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, it's pretty much moving everything from an efficiency standpoint, and I just want to show you how it all works right now. So to show you how it works, I do have to enable a particular setting just to show you. You don't have to do this at all. Um, I'm just showing you because uh, it's hard to explain it without it being there. Oops. I am close it out. Character configuration. I just got to enable this so you can actually see the party list. All right, this is the party list that I was talking about, and these are the class icons that I was telling you about earlier. There's an aggro meter that shows up at the very bottom of this icon right here, which pretty much fills up when you're pulling hate. And I'll show you everything in a battle situation. Now, if you notice, all this UI might seem kind of cluttered because it's kind of like right here, all right here. 
But in any given situation where you're in an intense battle and things like that, you're pretty much going to be zoomed out all the way. And pretty much your point of view is staring at this particular area right here. You don't really need to see your icons too much because when you play for a while, you get used to where everything is at. And you don't even need to see the help options of what each thing is. For example, if I hold L2 and R2 right now, it doesn't have those little blue pop-up windows that tell you what skill is it. And uh, that's basically because I don't need that information anymore because I'm used to my setup. And basically, just to turn that off, you, all you have to do is to go into your hotbar settings under your character configuration, go to your crossbar tab, and basically disable display hotbar help. That will disable those little blue uh, floating windows. That way you can move a lot of your information more towards the bottom of the screen rather than have everything float towards the middle. But I'd suggest if you're still getting used to the game, you might want to use those little pop-up windows just to help uh, jog your memory on where you put skills at. So, here we go. We're going to target this. As you can see, my target info bar has been moved from up here to pretty much down here. And as you can see, because you're pretty much staring in this general area for a battle, you can see your target's information and any attacks they're casting right away. And it's very good. Now, let's say we want to focus on this guy in the background you can see the focus target right here. We're focused on this, so you can see whatever this character is doing in the back while still being able to attack this one right here. This is the information on this particular target. So if we go ahead and attack this enemy right here, let's just put some damage over time real quick. Boom. You'll only see icons that you inflict now versus seeing like 20 or 30 of them from like everyone in a crowded fate or things like that. This is really helpful in just decluttering the screen itself. Now, as for your icons that are applied to yourself, let's say that I go ahead and apply internal release. You'll get to see the icon right here with the countdown timer at a quick glance. And in my opinion, this is a really good setup because you don't have to really look off way up to the top, way up to the bottom, or anything like that. Once you know the icons, you'll pretty much know how things are going to go down and uh, your rotation rate and everything like that once they disappear. Now, once again, I did say that the enemy list shows up just to the right of the target's target information. Since they're targeting me right now, I can see that the Earth Sprite, I have full aggro. The reason I know that is because this icon right here, and because of the full aggro meter at the bottom of my icon, class icon, in the party list. All your party members' aggro icon or meter will show up on their icon on the particular target that you're targeting right now. It won't show for any other targets, but for the one you're attacking now, this is perfect. And as you can see, everything is very fluid. It's a quick glance, and you can see all the information in any particular situation without being cluttered with information, unnecessary information, flying text all over the screen, and things like that. And that's pretty much simplification and efficiency all set up for Final Fantasy XIV. I feel that with the PS3, and using a gamepad, uh, this is definitely a great UI setup, and it's it's basically how I've been playing Endgame and things like that, and I have absolutely no issues. I feel that this is really fluid, really efficient, and I, I really hope it helps you. All right, guys, this is Juzi from Epic Reset Gaming. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to see more Final Fantasy XIV tutorials from Patch 2.1, go ahead, go ahead and hit that like and favorite button if you like this video. If you want to see more Final Fantasy XIV uh, tutorials and videos. Until next time, guys, this is Juicy from Epic Reset Gaming. You guys play hard and peace.